What's up, guys? So, I'm gonna just trim up the beard and the mustache, because, you know, that's what we do. Well, good morning. It's trimming up time. Yeah, so let's get into it. We're gonna use the Brio from Beardscape. Uh, if you guys want to go down to the link below, I will post that there for you if you wanna check it out. Probably one of the best clippers that I love uh, to use on my beard um, and on my hair as well. The, the guards uh, are pretty nice. Uh, I struggle with that with different clippers, so uh, enough chit chat, let's talk into it or dive into it. Um, we're gonna go for that Van Dyke look and I'm just gonna trim up the sides. We're gonna blend in this and I'm actually gonna trim down the beard too as well. So I'm on number three and let's just go ahead and start. So we're gonna do things a little bit different. I'm gonna add um, an extra guard. And usually I stick around a three and today we're gonna to go really short just for fun because yeah, let's try some fun things out. Let's put this puppy on and let's go for a two. Now I flip the camera around because I don't have a mirror and I want to trim up my soul patch here. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna turn down the RPMs a little bit. All right, I'm gonna just jump in the shower. I should have done that in the first place, but I mean, I got hair all over myself, so that was a big mistake. Um, but yeah, I wanna jump in the shower. Let's take it to the green screen. We'll style everything up and then, yeah, we'll have a good look. Not too shabby. It was an easy trim. There were a couple things that I had to do and work around. The first was the soul patch. Now, majority of men out there will have a soul patch and their beard connected. And I actually did a separation from the soul patch uh, to the chin. Now, the one thing that I did mess up on, and I, I don't know, I was just kind of playing with it. I went too far in on the sides, which actually I'm okay with, but to work around that, I'm going to spread out the chin a little bit, and that'll give it a little more of a robust look, so it's not so thin and stripy. And just got out of the shower, and I really think this helps. So for you guys that are having some styling issues definitely jump in the shower give yourself a good wash and conditioner if you're co-washing if you're using conditioner or shampoo it's a great way for your hair to get loosened up and it's a little more malleable for it to style and when you're ready to go my hair is about 80 percent 90 percent dry i like to have a little moisture in there that still gives it like I said, some malleability and a way for you to work in your product. So what I like to do is we're gonna work from the top down. We're gonna go ahead and throw in some pomade in the hair. 
And then we're gonna take some mustache wax and then we're gonna go with the mustache and then we're gonna work it into the beard. So remember, take your wax, we're gonna do the three fingers and we're gonna start from the bottom, we're gonna push it to the side. Up and out. Start pulling out your handlebar if you have it. Separation in the middle. And then we're gonna start pinching. And that pinch is going to apply a majority of your wax into your mustache. Now don't be afraid to go a little heavy because you can always brush it out. Now I still have some residual on my fingers, not only hair, but I do have some product left. And then we're just gonna go ahead and put it into the chin and we're just gonna go ahead and apply that in there and give it some texture. And this is a great way for you guys that have a thin beard. Remember to put product, if it's oil or balm or butter, that's really gonna thicken up your hair. It's gonna thicken up your beard. You know, it's gonna coat the hair and it's gonna give it more viscosity. So go ahead and just apply it. I'm gonna separate that out. Go ahead and put it in the soul pouch. It's all right, we can go ahead and put it and apply it. I think we're good. Now to find Newton everything, take out your brush, all right? This is gonna be one of the best assets to your beard styling and your hair game as well. And I love the boar bristle, we're just gonna, or the barrel, I should say. Don't get me wrong, I'm gonna barrel brush. Pull to the side. That way everything's nice and blended. And there you have it, not too bad. It's a very easy process and something for you to kind of have fun with as you're shortening up your beard game. And that's what's really gonna happen. Uh, I left my neck beard going on. We left that a little rough and tumble. I thought that would give it a little edgier look. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna clean the neck up in the next video, show you guys where the proper line is to have. After that, we're gonna start slowly trimming up the mustache and by Friday, it's gonna be gone. And we're gonna go back to a restart. So, you know, that's the fun part of the bearded journey is to just, we gotta restart, we gotta redo, we gotta refresh. Cause sometimes we cut some things and you know, we go a little too far and you know, you gotta start new. Or like I did with the, you know, my chin here, just go ahead and style it out. You know, we can always work around things. So just have a positive attitude about it. Like I said, uh, I, I nick my ear line a little too, too high. I gave it like three or four days. Nobody could tell, it's not a big deal. You know, you pay more attention than the others do. Not everybody's just like really picking and choosing what's really going wrong. So yeah, you guys, uh, good luck out there. Uh, have fun with it. You know, just go slow, smooth and small, get your guards right and you shouldn't have a problem. With that being said, you guys, uh, make sure to like and subscribe, check me out on all that social media. Love you like always, and I will see you on the flip side. See ya.